Hi everybody, this is Jelisa. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're listening in the podcast, thank you so much for listening. Today is January 13, 2024. I'm here to speak about the secret tunnels that were found earlier this week in New York City under a synagogue, okay? Um, there's, like I said, there's a lot happening. We cannot let things like this just slip us by and not talk about it. Um, because as we have been saying many times, uh, specifically towards the end of 2023, this is the year that God is going to expose the church. Everything that's done in the dark will come to light. And we have seen it already um, with some of these preachers and pastors that are coming. Their secret life are coming up and it's only January 13th, so be ready. Because a lot of, you know, what I notice is that people think that they can deceive and, you know, cause harm to other people and slander people just to for their own benefit fits for their own evil heart and they think that you know god is just gonna let them be in you know he's not gonna call it out at some point it will come to light and you will be exposed so you you know we all need to be careful about that you know god knows our heart god knows our intention and god knows where we're coming from right so today i'm going to speak to you guys about the, like i said the secret tunnel so let me know in the comments what you um what you thought about when you heard the story if you haven't if you heard the story or not um but you know you're gonna hear it now that's what i meant to say but it says here hold on one moment um illegal tunnels under new york city synagogue the stabilized nearby building officials said the illegal tunnel di- discovered under historic Brooklyn synagogue compromised the stability of several structures surrounding the religious complex, prompting an order to vacate as well as citations against its owner, city officials said. Okay, so apparently this very famous synagogue in New York City had some secret tunnels that were discovered, like I said, earlier this week. And the crazy thing about this whole story is is so um it's almost like they're they're hiding it on plain sight. They want, you know, when the police broke in and they, you know, because they tried to fill the tunnel, right, with cement once it was discovered apparently by the city officials. So when they brought the truck in with the cement to cover the tunnels, uh, some of the members of the synagogues, a lot of the young members, basically went crazy and 12 of them were arrested. So the story about the secret tunnel is becoming about the arrest of the people that went crazy when the police tried to cover the tunnels. Nothing about what was being done there, right? <laughs> Nothing about what was this, how long it's been like that. It's almost like it's, it's one story within another story, and they want to focus on the story about the people um, going crazy once it was discovered and once it was trying to be covered up again by the city with cement. And that's where a lot of the videos on the internet about it is about this young man going against basically the police being angry because they're covering their tunnel that they had to access. The, they, they're saying the reason they... they did that tunnel was to access the synagogue when it was not operating hours. This is insane. Nobody can like create a tunnel and in a synagogue where, you know, when you have members and groups and, you know, small groups and people connect and, you know, it's a building that has apartments on top of it. And it's just, oh yeah, they had a tunnel. Like people knew about it. A lot of people know, I think the whole entire church knew about it. Some of the synagogue's directors are saying, oh, you know, we had no idea that this was going on. They, you know, they knew about it. It's the church, you know, like you, we all, you know, we all go to church, right? And you know, there's always that person in charge of locking doors and walking the building, making sure everything is empty. They knew about it. And for them to just say that and say, oh, you know, it's these young men that are very passionate, they're new and they're very passionate and they, don't, they wanna have access to the synagogue when it was closed. There's more to this story. Rest assured, within a couple of days, we are going to know because everything will be exposed this year. 2024 will be the year where things are going to be exposed and you better be ready, you know. Um, and and I'm, say, I'm saying that because there's a lot of people, man, I tell you, I don't know, like the, the discernment, you have to go into fasting and prayer because once you got start revealing that, 
to you about a person, particular person, particular um, organization, it's not turning back. Like, man, I've been fooled. Like, you think to yourself, I've been fooled. But, you know, you got to ask God, you know, is God, is this really, is this who they really say they are? Um, and also, you know, God reveals things to you. And then a lot of the times when God revealed things to us, we're all like, oh, maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it. Right. Maybe I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm looking too much into it. Maybe it's nothing. And then another thing happened. It's another red flag. And you're like, oh, no, it's just nothing. It's just, you know, it's, I don't think it's that bad. And then, <laughs> like I said, you have to pray and fast and ask God for this sermon when you're praying. Because it's like, man, God reveals you seek and you shall find. Seek and you shall find. Okay. So when something is off, you feel it, especially on somebody. You're like, this, this doesn't make sense, you know. It's just a little odd. This is a little odd. And this whole thing about the story about the illegal tunnels in the Brooklyn Synagogue, historic Brooklyn Synagogue, which is called, by the way, the Shabbat Lobari called Global Headquarters in Crown Heights, is connected four buildings uh, owned by Hadistic Group through opening a cut in the basement walls like that is so like you're gonna cut the foundation like this is like crazy and the bible speaks about the foundation the solid rock and all of that you know i'm just not trying to say this is like relatable you think about that kind of like uh synonym and you're like wait a second um they were cutting the foundation of this church so something is up of this synagogue, something is up, and I think it hasn't been revealed yet because there's a big distraction about this story. Obviously, they just want you to know that twelve men or nine men were arrested because they got a little crazy when they were trying to cover up this tunnel. And like, okay, that's it to the story. Okay, next story. Uh, no, there's more to this, and I think um, it's gonna come um, to it's gonna come to to light. God is exposing it, and I, you know, to be honest. I have a feeling, you know, in New York City, there's always something being constructed. It takes forever. The scaffolding in the buildings, you know, there's always a construction. There's always something going on. And for this tunnel to be discovered and to be immediately um, the city prompt, prompt to basically send a truck and send so many police and like um, create this whole thing about closing the tunnel immediately without even investigating. Hey, can we like um, check out if we find anything here? Like, it's almost like if there is a connection to city officials. I don't know, like, this is so crazy. That's what I'm getting. I feel like there's an, in, it's, it's an inside thing here that God discovered. Okay, God brought it to light. It got discovered, and there's more to the story. Guaranteed you 100%. Something was going on there. Okay, and it's just a matter of time. So I'm just going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about it. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and listening in the podcast. Have a good day. God bless.